Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from War Crew Paintball and War Sports Chicago, and here with a unboxing video slash weekend loadout. Uh, I think I did one of these the other week when I got the 20 round mags. Super excited to have 20 round mags. 20 round mags are awesome, uh, especially if you're shooting first strikes. But what if you're not shooting first strikes? What if you need a little bit more firepower? What if you're going up against people that have Spire 3s, Rotors, Pinocchios, God forbid? Um, you need some with a little more fuck you. So, I got a box today, and it was really cool. Um, and inside that box was another box. Um, and inside, or next to that box, was a bunch of random papers that said, thank you for your purchase. And there was this really cool logo on it. It looks like that. So, what did, what did we get? Um, we got the MCS box mag. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, it comes with instruction manual, just so you know what the hell you're doing. Um, I was actually going to grab it before the video, but it's totally fine. So, what this is, is exactly what it says. It is a box drive. It's a box loader. Um, and I ordered it, and then KT released the video of, like, what it actually is, how they take it apart, and I was like, son of a bitch, it's literally a fucking loader in a box. Um, I mean, I'm sure this is kind of cool and proprietary, like, this is, you know, it feeds into this and then goes through a whole fucking process to get to here. Basically, what it is, is it's your loader with a tube. That's fucking it. Um, but the loader they picked is actually, it's, it's a pretty good model. Um, instead of like the Halo or the Rotor or anything like that, they used the, um, BT, uh, Rip Clip, which is based off Halo internals and stuff like that and Halo technology. But, uh, for me, when I used it, when, back when I had a BT Delta fucking decades ago, um, it was amazing. Um, surprisingly with that, that, that was what competed against the A5 and the uh, Cyclone Feed. Cyclone Feed, for the most part, turned paintballs into just paint and then fed them, fed it through your gun, everything got disgusting. I know there's people that are like, whoa, my fucking Cyclone Feed never fucking broke. It was amazing. Cool, you got one of the 10 that worked. Um, but the Rip Clip, was always amazing. Um, they actually made an adapter for the dam. Uh, I know Todd Anich used it for his like dam loadout series, and I was like, "Fuck, I want one of those." And then I never got one, so never mind. Um, but it is pretty cool. It's just the rip clip, which is sound activated slash motion activated, and it just feeds every time it hears a shot, every time it's bumped, whatever. It feeds. It's consistent. It just like it makes sure there's a ball on your gun. Uh, when I used the BT Delta, even with their electronic grip or whatever the fuck it was called, you know, 15 balls a second, I was still on, like, I never, like, I never had a jam, never had a misfire, anything like that, it, it worked, and I, I was shooting Evil and Marvelizer through a BT gun, which, like, if you even say that out loud nowadays in a paintball store, like, you're crucified immediately, which, I don't know, back then, markers worked better, and then paint didn't suck as much. Just paint sucks now. Um, so yeah, what it is, is it's literally a box loader. Um, I know in the video he was like, oh, we made a shelf for it, and then we took the shelf out. I was like, why the fuck would you take the shelf out? Like, there's spaces in there, the paint can get stuck if you smash into a tree because you're an idiot. Uh, you're breaking that paint, and it's all inside this fucking molly pack, which is going to be a bitch to clean, probably, because um, I didn't really pay attention to how they took it apart in the video. But, you know... It, I like the design. I, I like what they're doing. If they had done a dual fucking thing, that would have been cool. Like, if it had fed from both sides, but then you have to have another rip clip, which makes it more expensive. Um, I don't remember how much this was, but it was like 160, 170 bucks. Uh, look on their website. I think it was 160. They didn't send me a fucking invoice, which is weird that they didn't, but yeah. Um... For, for the price, honestly, I can say that it's, it's you know, it looks good. Uh, I haven't taken it apart, haven't shot it yet. 
Um, but I like I like the look of it. I like what they're doing here. It makes sense. This, by the way, if we can get this like solidity and mass into the continuous feed magazines that are being developed, like holy shit, like you're gonna kill somebody if you throw a magazine at them. I don't know why you would, but it'd be fucking awesome. Um, so to the loadout port part, loadout part. Sorry. Um, we're actually going to use this in my CVO. No, um, we have the MG100. I know everybody is probably fucking sick of seeing this gun, but I have so much shit that fits on it, and I have so much shit that can go with it, and twist into it, and clamp onto it, and shove inside it. Um, it's going to be around for a while, so fucking prepare yourselves. But, this box mag, um, I know mag-fed games frown upon box mags because they hate fun. Um, but, I think it's in there. I don't know, it's weird. Like, it, it's, it's really not designed with the MG in mind. Like, it's not, like, you don't get the satisfying click, I don't think, you know. But it's, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. So that's really nice. The profile is decent. I mean, if you're, it's basically an M60 style profile where you've got your feed tray hanging off the side. It's, it, it works. It really does work. I think it looks phenomenal. Um, it, this would be cool for like on top of a tank. But, you know, you don't want to fucking just spray people down. You know, I think it would be really cool for that. Um, yeah, I like the look of it. Of course, I ordered it in black. I'm not going to paint my marker anytime soon. So, you know, got it in black. Looks good. Uh, I'm surprised they got it as fast as I did because I know, like, they were, I thought they were sold out, but I was like, ah, I'll throw it in order. Maybe it'll come with the next wave, but got it immediately. So, let's go to the loadout. MG100 with this new box mag. A, it looks fucking cool. Like, it just does. Uh, I've got my small little red dot up here. I actually saw this on, like, the, the group, and I was like, I like that. So I just searched around on Amazon. There it was. Picked it up. I think it was, like, 12 bucks. Uh, I have an old folding front grip from a BT TM7. Yeah, TM7. Uh, I've got an old auto cocker barrel on here that has zero porting. So that's going to be really fun because this is a close quarters in your face, spray you down kind of loadout. So it's gonna be loud as shit, which is gonna be super fun. Um, I think we're gonna be playing it in indoor soon. So that'll be even better. Um, have my 77 first strike tank on here with my immortal uh, reg, of course, with low pressure. There's a lot of debate on that in this group for some reason. If you wanna use low pressure, med medium pressure, just a regular tank, it's an Eclipse gun. Um, as soon as you're going from your regulator into their regulator into your gun to shoot, um, I would suggest a lower pressure. The EMEC, I, I don't remember, but I think it's like 100 and something PSI of pressure that it runs off of. So the lower your pressure is coming out of your tank, into your regulator, into your marker, that's less wear and tear on O-rings, it's less stress on your marker in general. Um, and everybody gets to keep playing and be happy. So that's just what I would suggest. Um, I have them somewhere. I don't know where they went. They disappeared off the face of the fucking earth. But I have um, sling mounts, which would absolutely go well with this, just so you can kind of hang it down and not, you know, have a giant box mag in front of you. But if you're only playing with this, um, it's going to be awesome. Uh, a lot of left-handed shooting. This is super uncomfortable. I didn't realize that going around the mag. But left-handed shooting, so that way you're keeping your mag against your wall. Switch hands, people. Oh my god, learn to switch hands. This is not real steel firearms. You don't have to brace for recoil. There's no hot brass flying across your face. Learn how to switch hands. It pa it's paintball, or airsoft, or whatever the hell you're playing. Learn to switch hands, because it's going to help you, no matter what. The amount of times that I've seen people doing fucking this, or Th this or what what this oh this is the absolute worst when you're holding in your marker in your right hand on your left shoulder and shooting i hate you um you're the worst 
learn to switch hands. It's going to A, make you a better player, and B, make you harder to hit. Every genius is ambidextrous, and every paintball player is a true genius. So learn to shoot with both hands, or I will find you. Um, that's just kind of my, my rant on that. But that is this weekend's loadout. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will let you know on what happens with this box mag. If it completely sucks, uh, I'm going to go to California and throw it through the window. So thank you guys again, and I'll catch you in the next video.